Before we get into the actual game, let's take a look on how the game goes. Many people watching for the first time would like to know how the points are gained. Well, in roller derby, there are five players of each team. You notice five in the white shirts, five in the striped shirts, a lot on the track at one time. They're moving around on the track in what is called a pack. You see this boy break out, it's Speck Saunders moving out on the jam. A jam in roller derby is an offensive play, an effort to score. Now the jammer wearing the white shirt, he's moving around the big 18 lap to a mile track. In order for him to score, he must circle the track, come up back of the pack, and that's the pack you're looking at right now, and pass a member of the opposition within two minutes time because of a two minute time limit on all jams. In other words, it's up to his four teammates in the white shirts in the pack to slow down the five stripe players to let him in. Now watch him, he gets a point for every one of the striped players he would pass. He moves in, he's passed one. We stop it for you so you can see how the block was thrown by number 23. He's got one point. This is a demonstration, he moves in and he's passed two. Now he's got two points. One for every one of the opposition he passes. Keep your eye on this boy now. He's the offensive man for the white shirts. He's passed three and he's got three points. Speck Saunders keeps moving in now. The most you can gain in a single jam is five points. And we want to show you how they're gained. He moves in and passes the fourth, and he's got four points. Now he's only got one more man to pass for a grand slam, which is like hitting a home run with a bases loaded in baseball. Little Hank Goldberg, his teammate, up there with him, uh, is ready to lead him in. We stop it to show you how he's moving in to lead the block. He blocks up on the fifth man, and Speck Saunders moves through for five points, the most you can gain on a single jam. And there's the official giving the signal. Greetings, sport fans everywhere. This is Ken Lydell ready to bring you another thrilling roller derby from Madison Square Garden, New York. Well, the game between the Chiefs and the Jolters. At the present time, the Chiefs lead 21, or rather the Jolters lead 26 to 21 over the Chiefs. Now there's Julie Patrick breaking out for the Jolters. The Jolters wearing the striped shirts and uh, in the white shirts. It's the Chiefs. The Chiefs in the white. The Jolers in the stripes. We're maneuvering four positions and the first jam gets underway in the skating period. And it's Alice Edwards out for the Chiefs along with Julie Patrick and the Jolers. There's that pack action. Great crowd on hand here at Madison Square Garden. 64, little Millie Bruno comes out on the jam. Followed by Blanche Lopez. Lopez moving in, but here's the gal to watch. Alice Edwards in white up there for the Chiefs and really moving. Comes to the back of the pack. Being blocked back in there nicely by Julie Patrick. Patrick slowing Edwards down now. Watch it. 28 comes in. Nice to get in there. Edwards moving hard. Vice Lopez also coming up. Murray back there to assist. Here comes the play. Jolers and the Chiefs in action. Chiefs in the white shirts. There's Edwards piling in on the inside. She's got one. Her teammate Lopez keeps moving up. Edwards waiting for Lopez to catch up and get in there if she can. Nice Lopez coming in also on Julie Patrick and Edwards assists and there's another point. One for Lopez and one for Edwards. And out goes Lopez. Lee Jam put her down, stops it up. So it was a great play by Alice Edwards. Getting one for the Chiefs and blocking the letter teammate Lopez get one for the Chiefs. And there's a compliment from Mary Gardner of the Chiefs. So two points for the Chiefs on the first jab of the seventh skating period. Score, Jolers 26, Chiefs 23. All right, a big wide shot of the track here at Madison Square Garden in New York City. Ducking four positions, waiting for the field to get together. Julian Patrick up front, Murray up front. Jolers in the striped jerseys, Chiefs in the white jerseys. All right, way to start a jam and our front now moves. Mother Rossner of the Jolers. Rossner in the strike, number 68, moves out. Right behind her, Barbara Mature, the Chiefs. Also, Renee Randall for the Jolers, and Jerry Murray, the Chiefs. So you got two members of each team on this jam. Hard roughness in that pack. Gals throw everything but the track at each other and try to get their teammates out of the jam because in roller derby, the jammers are the ones that score the points. this action on the jam. Murray moves in now and Barbara Mateer is being hit up by Norma Rossner. There's Randall chasing Murray.
Jerry Murray driving hard. Renee Randall moving up in there with her. And Barbara Mateer takes her out. Beautiful blocking by Mateer. Taking out Norma Rossner and Renee Randall. Both of them being taken out by this gal. Mateer in white. Look at her block and her teammate Murray keeps moving in all alone. And Dallas Edwards in the back of the pack. Little Millie Bruno back there for the shoulders. See that blocking by Edwards. Beautiful blocking. Murray through for one point over the shoulder player and uh, cuts it off. Murray scores one on Edwards' block. And a beauty, and Millie Bruno was the gal that was passed for the Jolters. So, another assist for the Redhead. The score, Chiefs 24, Jolters 26. The Chiefs moving up on the Jolters. Well, there's Don Jughead Lewis of the Jolters getting a workout from the trainer. But let's get back to this girl's action. Mary Lou Palermo with the hair ribbons up there for the Jolders. Right behind her, Alice Edwards in white for the Chiefs. Also coming out, Gene Porter of the Jolders. And Mary Ciafani of the Chiefs. Look at that action. Porter hitting up. These four gals can really roll around that big Masonite track. Edwards hits up on Palermo. All right, 69 Porter starting to move now. Mary Ciafani and White for the Chiefs right behind her. One member of each team moving in. Jolders and the Chiefs battling it out of the base night here at Madison Square Garden in New York City. The home of the champions. Murray being roughed up in there by Mary Gardner. And Monogene Payne. All right, moving in. Ciafani starts to move in now. Murray back there to block out on Porter. Ciafani comes in, Monagin Payne back to block out for the Jolders. What's his play? Monagin on the outside, blocking high on Ciafani. Beautiful blocking by Monagin Payne. Murray slowing down on Porter. Porter has not passed as yet. Murray almost passed, but not quite. Porter tries to find her way in. Murray watching her closely over her left shoulder. Porter trying to battle her way through. Gene Payne still doing a good job in slowing down the chief player, Ciafani, and Murray blocks Porter and hits her. Porter down, leading jam player down, stops the jam. Good blocking by Murray, good blocking by Monogene Payne in the score. Jolders 26, Chiefs 24. Well, there's Don Jughead Lewis fixing his official roller derby skate, the skate of the champions, used exclusively in roller derby action. A pretty shot. And the jam is underway. Renee Randall moves out. Jerry Murray moves out. Murray and Randall. Randall for the Jolders in the striped shirt. Murray, red hair blowing in the breeze. White shirt moving in for the Chiefs. One member of each team on the jam. 15,000 fans here at Madison Square Garden for this game. And you can hear that roaring in the background when the action gets rough. the bomb, bombshell Gardner, the Chiefs, hitting up on Porter. Cameras continue around. This is the pack you're looking at right now. The pack is like the line of scrimmage in football. Everything starts at the front of the pack. Everything has to wind up the back end of the pack, and here come the jammers. Randall barreling in there. Murray on the inside. Hits Randall with a nice block. Randall taken high, and Murray starts to go. Murray took her glove off. It's back on Murray. She's fighting it out with Jerry. One member of each team moving in the back of that pack now. There's Porter back there to try to stop up Jerry Murray when she comes in. The bomb bombshell Gardner back there to try to stop up on Randall when she comes in. Defense waiting for the offensive players and watch him roll. Murray hits up on Randall. A beautiful block. Randall is scooting along the rail. Look out, Rene. All right, Jerry comes in, pass one, pass two. Murray keeps driving. Look at this gal fly on those official roller derby skates. Now, Gardner whips her, and Murray keeps driving. Willie Bruno back in a block out. Here comes Murray. Little Millie on the defense. Jerry driving hard. Murray hit by Millie Bruno. Beautiful blocking. 
Randall also in there. Down goes Murray. A hard rough spill. And there's two points in the official signals. Up here. Two points for Jerry Murray. Of the Chiefs to score now. Chiefs 26. Jonah 26. All tied up. And the Chiefs are moving on the offensive. There's a shot of the Jonah bench. Close up of Joe Marinero. There's Big Moose Payne. Big Moose, the present manager of the Jersey Jonas. There's Jughead. There's Joe Marinero. Big Baker in the background. Well, the gals are certainly pouring it on. Here comes Bonagene Payne moving in. Oh, beautiful Bonagene Payne on the move now. Jerry Murray, who just scored that two-pointer out for the Chiefs. So it's Murray and Payne fighting it out. Two gals that can rock and roll around that big bank track. Arnie Buckman hit in there with a nice buck from Barbara Mateer. That's the pack. Here's Norma Rossner, second from the right. Nice block by Porter Mateer. Julie Patrick hitting up on Murray. See it funny in the front of that pack. All right, Bonatin starts to move. There's a gal with long, beautiful legs that can really roll on those official roller derby skates. Look at her move. Murray staying with her. This is speed. This is action. This is roller derby. Missed that block. Bonagine after hits her. Here comes Bonagine driving in. Moving up in there now. And Murray Ciafani. Porter trying to help her teammate through. Bonagine trying to fight in there. Porter trying to stay ahead. And they rule. No scores yet. Bonagine was off the infield, but she's still on the jam. Murray trying to get by Porter. There's Bonagine coming up and moves through and scores one. After being knocked off the track, she got back up on the track and passed there for one point. And the score now. Jonas 27, Chiefs 26. Well, a big shot of the track, and if you just tuned in, this is the big game between the Chiefs and the Jolters. And the score, Jolters 27, Chiefs 26 here at Madison Square Garden in New York City. Look at that roughness of the pack, and the jam is on the way. Alice Edwards breaks out for the Chiefs. The Chiefs in the white shirts. Jolters in the striped shirts. Here comes Gene Porter out for the Jolters. Look at this action. Norma Roster trying to come out. Mary Ciafani is out. Got two against one, Porter outnumbered by Alice Edwards and Mary Ciafani and White for the Chiefs. Porter trying to come up and cut it off, she can. That's tough when you're out number two to one. Porter moves up, cuts it. Beautiful play by Porter. On number two to one, she was forced to cut it off. A great play in there. Roster could not catch up with the three leaders to help Porter out, so it was a great play by Gene Porter. Score, Jonas 27, Chiefs 26. Men are standing by for the final skating period, the eighth and final skating period of the game between the Chiefs and the Jolters. And remember, this is the only known sport where men and women are placed on an equal basis, where there's an offense and a defense, and where there's body contact. So when the men take over, the rules are the same. The gals did their job. Now it's up to the fellows. So we'll see what the fellows can do in this final skating period. We'll get a winner for you. Fine crowd here in Madison Square Garden. Four positions. Joe Cosmo up front. Little Joe Marinero in stripes for the Jolders right behind him. And it's Joe Joe Cosmo on the first jam of the final skating period. The big blue chip period. And all the blue chips are up on this one. All right, Cosmo holds it down. In comes little Joe Marinero. Hard roughness. Big climb. Number 30 in white was hit with a nice block in there by Harold Janowitz. Correction, that was Buddy Kemp. Buddy Kemp looks a lot like Janowitz on that track. All right, here's the play now. Little Joe, 64 on the move for the striped Joler team. He's hit by Cosmo. Look out, Joe. Cosmo starting to pull away from little Joe Marinero. There's a lot of difference in size between these two guys. They're both very fast, but little Joe keeps driving. There's a pack now. Jughead Lewis back there on the defense for the striped Joler team. Little Pee Wee Reigns, number 24 in white. He's waiting back there to block out for the Chief team. Coming around now, moving in. Doug Head is back there. Little Joe Marinero and Joe Cosmo fight it out. Marinero throws a block. Almost goes down. Cosmo after him. Look out. He's down. A beautiful block by Joe Cosmo. Little Marinero gets up fast like a jack in the box, but. It's Cosmo all the way now, all alone. So Cosmo moves in, waiting back to the block out for the strike. Jota team will be Jughead Lewis, the best blocker, the best defensive man on the Jota team. There's Jughead with his short haircut. You can pick him out. Look at Jughead blocking back now. 
Cosmo trying to get in. The boy in white on the right trying to pass the boy in the middle. He's knocked on the infield. No score. Jughead Lewis stops it up. A beautiful play by Jughead. Score. Jonas 27. Chiefs 26. All right. Jockey four positions. There's the kid that can really go from Ready, Pennsylvania. Charlie Shukart out for the shoulders. Charlie with the white helmet, striped jersey right behind him. And it's Bob Lewis, brother of Don Jughead Lewis, but Bob Lewis skates for the Chiefs. There's Big Moose Payne, number 60, the famous Moose. Present manager of the Jersey Jolters and coach. He's out there, but Lewis gets by him. And there's Charlie Shukart driving for pay dirt now, moving in. Shukart rolling with everything he's got on those official Wilder Derby skates. He's pouring it on. Got a fast man after him. Bob Lewis of the Chiefs. And they're trying to get more points. At least protect that lead. There's Big Moose Payne working on Cosmo. Big Klein, number 30. He worked on by Buddy Kemp. There's Kemp with the shoulders throwing a block on Big Klein. And here comes Shukart moving in. He's got a nice lead. He's a great offensive guy. He don't know what it means to quit. He can drive. Look at him come in now. He... He fell, and I believe he broke a wheel. Yes, he did. He broke a wheel on the score. Jonas 27, Chiefs 26. No score in the place. Shukart took a bad spill. There's Charlie now being helped into the infield. Now he's in there under his own power. He's disgusted. He had a chance to score, and he broke the wheel on his official roller derby skate. There's that skate off. He'll get it fixed. He'll be back in there in just a moment. Charlie Shukart working on his official roller derby skate. Big Moose Payne, plenty of chatter, a very colorful guy in roller derby. He's probably the Babe Ruth of roller derby. He tucks it up now. He gets his teammate Malane out. Malane starts to drive. Malane out of the front of the pack, all the way. And there he goes, moving on those official roller derby skates and driving for pay dirt. The Jolers holding a slight lead, want to get more. And they've got a fast guy out there in Paul Malane. Malane cuts it off. Two men coming up. And it's the old pro, Bill Bogash, moving up. With Louis Guzman, his teammate, and Mullane was forced to cut it off. A nice play by Mullane. Heads up, not taking any chances against those two fellows. The score remains. Jolers 27, Chiefs 26. All right, fast break. Moving on on this one now. Don Taylor for the Stripe Joler team. Number 70, out there with Freddie Noah, the Hawaiian champion for the Chiefs in white. A member of each team on this jam. There's that pack action. There's Bob Lewis hitting up hard block in there. There's Jughead hitting up on Bogash. Boy, look at that action. Billy the old pro skating with glasses on. What a colorful career he's had in roller derby. Here are the jammers now. Taylor holding it down. Ready know on the inside. A lot of action, a lot of speed. Look at Moose Payne rough up in there with Louis Guzman and Billy Bogash. Guzman and Bogash both wear glasses. Look at him work on Big Moose. Hey, look at that guy. Hey, man, that's skating. Beautiful pictures and action. Here comes Noah moving in now. Noah moves in hard. Driving in there. Coming in on the lane. He slowed down. Taylor tried to score. He slowed down in there by Bob Lewis. Lewis keeping Taylor back. Here comes 26 in. He's ripped. And he scores, I believe. Look at Oh, what a spill. He did score. Malane down. Guzman down. Gammon down. All three down. But they helped their teammate through for a point in there. One point for Freddie Noah, a great play by Gene Gavin and Louis Guzman. The score now all tied up. Chiefs 27, Jolers 27. There's Dr. Alviani working on one of the skaters in the center, one of the gals, getting the leg muscles loosened up. It might have to go into overtime. You never can tell. Remember, there's no such a thing as a tie game at Roller Derby, and Pee Wee Reigns moves on this one. Little Pee Wee. They're in the white shirt for the Chiefs now. He's moving in with him, Don Taylor, the Jolers. There's that pack action.
action. The teams realize that this is the final speeding period of the game. It's been a good, rough game with thrill after thrill for this great crowd at Madison Square Garden in New York City. Heard a lot of noise from this crowd. Well, it's this kind of a game. It's the kind of a game that the fans can get up and really leave off steam. They got their favorites, and they're pulling for them. There's Taylor up there now. Little Pee Wee Reigns right behind. Taylor and Reigns fighting it out on the big Masonite track. Hits up on Taylor. Boy, just imagine the condition that these athletes have to be in to skate as they skate in roller derby. I don't think any other sport demands more of an athlete than roller derby does. Big Dick Wayner up front, hit by Joe Cosmo. Cosmo slowing him down in the pack. There's Big Moose Payne in the back of the pack and Big Gene Gammon for the Chiefs. Two of the biggest guys in roller derby and two of the real pros. be Payne back there. He'll try to stop up on range. Don Taylor will try to score over Gammon. Gammon slowing down now on Taylor. There's Moose taken out on Pee Wee Reigns. Two big guys against two little fellas. Look at Taylor try to score. He slowed, knocked into the rail like Gammon. A clean block, but Taylor's out of it. Moose Payne taken out on Pee Wee Reigns. There's Gammon. He takes Payne out. A beautiful score in there. Who Reigns went right through them like a bullet on Gammon's assist. Gammon not only stopped up the offensive player for the Jolters, but he took Payne out and let Reigns score, and the score now. Chiefs 28, Jolters 27. All right, getting the field together. Big Dick Wayner up there for the Jolters. In the front of that pack with Freddie Noah in white for the Chiefs. Very close game. He's been moving up on the Jolters. Just a one-point lead now. Want to get more. There's that action in the pack. Pee Wee Reigns in there with Don Taylor. Look at that blocking in there. Ooh, big Gene Gammon spun around with a hard block. Big Moose Payne let him have it right from the shoestrings. Payne already at the back end of the pack. Worry about Noah when he comes around. And Dick Wayner. Is moving in for the Jolers and Big Gene Gammon already back there to take out Winner when he comes in. Two big fellas on the jam and two great big fellas at the back end of the pack waiting for those jammers to come in and challenge. All right, Noah moves in now. He knocked Winner down. Winner's out of the play. Here's Moose Payne blocking back on Freddie Noah. Gammon talking to Noah. Gammon's going to try to lead him in. Noah being whipped in there. He is whipped around by Gammon. Beautiful play. He's past two. Noah's got two now. Keeps driving. He's past three. Look at him go. Beautiful play by Noah. He's past four. Four points for Freddie Noah. Noah, the Chiefs, keeps driving now. The Chiefs are going on in front with a beauty here by Noah on a great assist from Gene Gammon. Noah's got four, trying to get five. Giving everything he's got. And he cuts the jam off. He's forced to cut it off because Dick Wayner was right on top of him. And the score now, Chiefs 32, Jolders 27. That was a good picture of Arlene Buckman, one of the stars of the Jolder team, talking to the skate boy and checking over her official roller derby skates, the skates of the champions. That's to get the clock because the time is short. Jolder girls anxious for those Jolder boys to get back in the game. The Chiefs are rough. And here's a fast break. And on on this one now comes Buddy Kemp. Look at the blocking by Moose Payne. Great team man, knocking down on Freddie Noah, who just got the four-pointer for the Chiefs. But he kept moves in. It was Payne who knocked down Noah. Big Moose, calling on everything his team can give, and knocks down another one. He knocked down Gavin. That's two he's knocked down in this jam, right out of the pack. Big Rosie Baker blocking back on little Pee Wee Reigns. Doug had Lewis in there. Payne already at the back of the pack. He's knocked two down in the pack. They got up, but he's been rough, and he's going to try to lead his teammate. But he kept in there for some scores. Payne cannot score. Double block forming in the back end of the pack by the Chiefs. There's Paul Mullane looking over his shoulder. There comes Buddy Kemp flying in there. Kemp trying to gain that pack now. He's going to have Moose Payne try to assist for him, try to help him through. 
There's Moose talking to him now. There's Freddie Noah and Big Gene Gammon, two big guys back in the defense for the white shirted chief team. But he kept going to try to get in with Moose's assist. Watch it now. But he took his orders from Moose. Moose starts to gallop. Look at the big guy go. He breaks him wide open, and Buddy's got two points. Beautiful play by Buddy Kemp. Mullane whips him. Tries to get in. He's tipped over. Knocked down in there on a beautiful block by Pee Wee Range of the Chiefs. So, Buddy Kemp got two, and the score now, the Chiefs 32, the Jolas 29. All right, trying to get the field together. About time for one more jam, and that's all that's left in this game. They jockey Paul position. There's Big Bogash, or that rather, Big Baker, roughing up on Billy Bogash. All right, Paul Mullane tries to come out. Mullane moving out. The Jolas are desperate. This will probably be the last jam of the game. Big Moose Payne, the great team player that he is again, blocking back on Louis Guzman. Big Moose really racking it around Louis. There's Jughead Lewis up front, Big Baker up front. So all the power of the Jonah team, as far as blocking is concerned, is throwing the front of the pack to get this guy, Paulie Mullane, a real speed merchant. Plenty of time to get around there and try to get this win away from the Chiefs. This is definitely the last jam. We look at the clock, it's less than two minutes to go. Mullane moving in, and the pack is all bunched up. The fans are up out of their seats now. This will be it. The Jonas will win it or lose it, depending on what Paul Mullane can do. There's a fast break around the outside. Bob Lewis trying to get loose, but Jughead, his brother, takes him out. Paul Mullane coming around. There's Billy Bogast, the old pro in there. What a head he has on his shoulders. What a great competitor. A nice guy on and off that track. But here's the guy we're concerned with now. Paul Mullane, the Joler fans are saying, come on, Paulie, let's go. And the Chief fans are begging the Chiefs to stop this play up. And there's the old pro himself, Bogast, back to block out. Who's Payne ready to lead him in? Payne did it last time. He moves through. Pass one, pass two. He's driving on Bogast now. He slowed down. He's knocked down. Bogast takes him down. And Bogast saves the game for the Chiefs. A great block by Bogast. Belaine, good sportsman he is. Pats him on the back of the final score. The Chiefs win at 32 to 31 over the Jolers in a real thriller. Look at the compliments going around on the Chief bench. Well, this is Ken Idell saying it's been a thriller. And next time, until next time, we'll see you at the roller derby.